I have been working on my book, Thursday is the New Friday, for over two years. In fact, it's taken a decade of work to bring together case studies and neuroscience and everything it takes to teach you how to make Thursday the new Friday. In Thursday the new Friday, I talk about the four-day work week. I talk about how to optimize your brain. I show case studies of people that have worked less and made more. Deep down inside of me is the idea that we work too hard. And this is what I hope is a global revolution of moving away from the industrialist model of working, that it's unhealthy for us. And I am so excited to announce to you that you can now pre-order it. And not only can you pre-order it, but we've got some amazing bonuses if you pre-order this in the next month. So for a limited time, you can receive these bonuses if you buy 5, 10, or 25 books. So you can order them wherever you want. If it's Amazon or wherever you plan to buy your five books or more, if you order five books, you get a free ticket to Killing It Camp, which is October 14th through 17th at the YMCA of the Rockies. It doesn't include your lodging, travel, or food, but that's $197 value. Plus, you get the Make Thursday the New Friday a Reality Workbook, which is a $29 value, and you get the first chapter of Thursday is the New Friday right away. So you get that if you do five books. If you do 10 books, you get all of that. But you also get a mastermind group with me for six weeks in a row for high-level entrepreneurs. That's $650 value for that. Plus, you still get the Killing It Camp tickets and everything else. If you get 25 books, I'm hosting a VIP half-day mastermind with me right before Killing It Camp, the day before, where we're going to hang out in a small group of other entrepreneurs that are high achievers that want to do big things. So order your 5, 10, or 25 books wherever you want. Then head on over to thursdayisthenewfriday.com and just fill out the form there with your receipt, and we will get you all of your bonuses. I'm so, so excited about this book. It really is the handbook for how I do almost everything. And it's interesting. And I interviewed some really amazing people and can't wait to share it with you. It's being published through HarperCollins. We'll be shipping that out October 5th. That's the drop date for it. But get those right now so you get those bonuses way ahead of time. Again, order it wherever you want. Uh, and then go to thursdaysthenewfriday.com and fill out the form there. And we'll get you your Killing It Camp ticket and all the other bonuses. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much. This is the Practice of the Practice podcast with Joe Sanox, session number 572. Well, I am so excited about this series that I will be doing on Wednesdays, where it's going to be solo shows where you get to ask questions and dive right in. Um, I'm just super excited about it. Uh, and so, uh, as you heard at the, the beginning there, uh, over at Thursday is the new Friday.com, uh, that's where you can get uh, your pre order of Thursday is the new Friday. And we've got some awesome deals there where you can get a free Kellen at Camp ticket. Kellen at Camp is the event we put on in Estes Park, Colorado. October 13th through 17th. It's going to be amazing. Uh, we can't wait to put on a live event again. So uh, we really want to get the pre-orders in for Thursday is the new Friday. And so we're doing um, where you, if you buy a certain number of books and all those details are over there. So make sure you do that. And uh, also every single Wednesday, I'm going to be doing this for a while. Right now I have 24 questions that have been submitted. So that's going to at least take us through the end of the year. Um, depending on how it goes and what my energy is, I may do more than every single Wednesday to answer a bunch of these questions. So today uh, we have a question that was submitted. And uh, let me just tell you, it's cool. I'm doing shout outs for each person too that does this. So Tim Kelly from Propagate Hope Counseling LLC. It's an online practice that started in East Hanover, New Jersey, and serves all of New Jersey and Colorado. And so Tim uh, asked the question of what, uh, sorry, not, I was reading the, the heading there, of how do I get clients for an online practice that's in two different states? I started my practice in New Jersey, but I'm moving to Colorado and want to keep all the work I started and attract new clients as well. 
I mean, this is such a common question uh, that we see with practice to practice, and especially with um, next level practice, our membership community, uh, people kind of sorting through, and um, a lot of folks in there have given feedback around this, and so. Um, I kind of brought together a, a few of the answers that have been given, but also my own opinions as well. So first, we want to kind of look at how do you have good SEO in two different states? And so um, there's pros and cons of having two different websites, which we'll talk about in just a second, uh, to really kind of focus on how you want to do that, to have some specific landing pages versus having two totally separate websites. Uh, but you want to think about uh, SEO getting local referrals, and kind of your local image. I mean, those are the kind of three big things when you have two different states. And, and so from an SEO standpoint, you want someone, if they're going to say um, best New Jersey counselor or in Colorado, say best Colorado counselor, uh, or even say um, you know Boulder counseling or Denver counseling or particular cities, you want to be able to rank for that. And, and so um, from a very early on standpoint, whether you're going to do one website or two, I would create a bunch of different pages with the main hubs of that state uh, and make sure you're using um, good meta descriptions, make sure you're using good tagging, good internal linking um, between pages and even external linking to Colorado resources or Colorado um, things that could be helpful for people or New Jersey resources. Uh, so that Google, when they have their little crawlers and robots come and look at your website, um, they see New Jersey and they see Colorado. Um, as well, um, you want to look for local referrals. And so uh, with online counseling, when you can serve a whole state, you still want to think about it as a city by city decision. And so that you're making those local connections. Uh, a couple of connections we often recommend is that you find people that do the same thing as you, that, that have the same niche, because when they get full, uh, they want to have someone to refer to. And then also looking at people who don't have the same niche. Uh, so, for example, I used to help angry teenagers, primarily uh, angry boys uh, or young men. Uh, and so I often would network with people that primarily helped teen girls. And so when they would get a family and they needed to refer out the, the boy, uh, I would often get that referral. And then we would coordinate really well. And so still thinking about it, not as a whole state, but as individual people that are referring to you. And really, you don't need that many clients to have a full practice. And so you know, we think, oh, the whole state of Colorado, the whole state of New Jersey. I mean, really, to have a full practice, you need 20 or 30 clients if your prices are right. And then to scale into a group practice, you only need you know, a handful of phone calls per week to really grow and have a substantial income. And so sometimes we overthink this. And I just want to allow you to say, you know, we're, we're talking 10 or 20 clients that we're looking at. And so focusing on, okay, I'm going to focus on Denver or on Boulder or Fort Collins or wherever it is that you want to focus on, focus on those referrals in those areas, building out connections um, on those pages, having local images. So you may purchase those or take those yourself. Um, I mean, if you're serving New Jersey, you don't want to have a big person on top of a mountain with their hands in the air. Um, and if you're, you know, serving Colorado, you don't want the header image to be the Jersey Shore. Um, you you want to be able to really make it feel like like it's a Colorado website or it's a New Jersey website. And so for most people, the best and easiest SEO is going to be to have two separate websites. Um, now, there's lots of ways that you can do it where you keep it all internal uh, and maybe you just have different locations on there or different states you serve, um, which can also kind of raise your image if you think you're going to add third or fourth states or you're going to hire people from different states um, to do different counseling. If you plan to expand beyond just a couple states, you may want to have it all under one banner as well. Or if you think you might want to have a franchise model eventually or um, sell potentially, to have a whole bunch of websites might not serve you quite as well. So I would start there uh, as well. You know, there, there's some cons to having two websites. I mean, that's two websites to keep up. That's the cost of, of the hosting on two websites. It's having a designer that, that does all of that. Uh, there's definitely some cons to, to keeping up with two websites. Um, I would also, you know, when you're networking, think about doing some virtual coffee. I mean, if you're a virtual therapist where you do it online, um, don't feel like you have to do a bunch of in-person networking. Um, you can you know, reach out to people and say, I'd love to have a virtual cup of coffee with you. Um, you can drink an actual cup of coffee while that other person is you know, on your screen. Um, but just to get to know their practice, to learn about them, to learn about who um, and what type of referrals they're accepting. 
uh, as well to do some of your own kind of SEO and to see where you're ranking. Something simple that you can do is just go incognito uh, within Chrome or whatever your browser is um, where it's like that private browsing uh, so that Google's not pulling from all of your search history and to know where do you actually rank. Um, you know, when you type in Boulder Counseling, when you type in New Jersey Counseling or kind of your area, you want to know kind of where you rank. Uh, and so you're going to poke around and kind of see who's ranking well, who are those top people um, that aren't kind of pulling in from that same area. Um, as well, you want to have some targeted blogs that really use some, some local landmarks that help people um, from a local perspective that you're talking about local issues. Um, and then, you know, there's a few other strategies with Instagram where you may want to um, do some geotagging where you might want to um, tag local restaurants or local things so that um, you, you're really in that community, in whether that's in New Jersey or in Colorado. You definitely want to come to Killing It Camp because you get a lot of great pictures of you know, Rocky Mountain National Park. And then uh, you, you may want to consider also uh, with, with Yelp uh, using, because uh, a lot of therapists will use Yelp. You're not supposed to, from our ethics, ask clients to review you. But um uh, you know, a lot of people have had some really good success with Yelp where people find their therapist on there and they rank and rate them. And Yelp, if you call their business line, oftentimes will let you switch your Yelp from one state to another. Uh, you may want to file a Google My Business in two different states and get have addresses in both. Google wants you to have an actual address that it gets sent to. Uh, and so those are all ways that you can continue to rank higher, to do well, and to just continue to grow your business. Next week, the question that I'm going to be answering is all about new graduates. Like, how do you look for a supervisor? How do you build a caseload as a W-2 employee? When should you start a blog, a website, all of that? So next Wednesday, uh, stick around for that question. And thank you so much uh, for letting me into your ears and into your brain. Uh, you can get a free ticket to Killing Night Camp. All you have to do is go over to thursdayisthenewfriday.com. And that will uh, redirect you to our HarperCollins page. There's all sorts of amazing things that we have in there as bonuses if you do the, um, the pre-sale of Thursday is the New Friday. The actual book will ship to you on October 5th. Uh, that's the official release date of it. Uh, but you're going to get early access to a whole bunch of things, including a workbook. Um, we have higher levels where if you buy more than five books, uh, I have a mastermind group that I'm going to be doing that you can be a part of um, for, I think it's six weeks. And so lots of really cool bonuses uh, that you can get instead of just paying for your Kellen and Camp ticket. Why don't you just buy the book and get it for free? Uh, would love to have you there and can't wait to hang out with you. So thanks so much for letting me into your ears and into your brain. I'll talk to you soon. Special thanks to the band Silence is Sexy for your intro music. We really like it. And this podcast is designed to provide accurate and authoritative information in regard to the subject matter covered. It is given with the understanding that neither the host, the publisher, or the guests are rendering legal, accounting, clinical, or other professional information. If you want a professional, you should find one.